Hello everybody, my name is Ian Lamont and today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Amazon Pay with your Shopify website. And here's the situation. This is a product that I sell on my Shopify website. And if you scroll to the bottom, I'm not going to go through the checkout process right now, but Shopify actually shows the payment providers that are accepted on my website. It includes American Express, Apple Pay, I'm not even sure what, oh, Diners Club. I don't know what some of these icons are for. Discovered, Google Pay, um, MasterCard, PayPal, Shopify Pay, Visa, etc. One thing that's missing from this is Amazon Pay. This is the, basically what it is, is it lets you integrate Amazon's payment system with your website. And I know a lot of people will be saying, well, why, why would I want to do that? I don't want people to be uh, going to Amazon to make a purchase for my product. I want them to be buying it on my own website, my Shopify website, so I kind of have a relationship with the customer and I can uh, follow up with them or provide better service or whatever. Amazon Pay, it's not actually uh, using um, making the sale go through Amazon. It's still going through Shopify, but they're, they're basically using the, their, their credit card, which is already stored on Amazon, to make the purchase on your website. So yes, it gives Amazon a little bit more power, but you still maintain the relationship with the customer, even though they're using uh, their Amazon um, payment credentials. And if you think about it, it's actually similar to if they're using Google Pay or uh, you know Diners Club or whatever. So I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Go to your Shopify console. It's a little bit confusing. The settings are kind of buried. You don't want online store. You actually want settings, lower left corner, and then payment providers. Okay, before I continue with this, one thing I need to say. You need to set up Amazon Pay from your Amazon seller account. And I believe it has to be a pro level seller account. You need to do that first before you come here. Shopify won't do it for you. You have to set it up yourself first in Amazon Seller Central. You're uh, basically, activate Amazon Pay. There might be a whole bunch of steps required. There might be a waiting period. Whatever it is, you need to do that first before you come here. But once you have that option, you should see the option to add Amazon Pay. Click the button that says, um, actually, let me just read this out. A button on your store checkout that enables customers to use the payment and shipping information stored in their Amazon account. The great thing about that is they uh, they don't need to whip out their credit card or um, type in the shipping address. It's already associated with their Amazon account. And basically by pressing this button, they'll be able to immediately flow that into your Shopify store. So click activate Amazon Pay. So I have a Amazon Seller Central account. It's asking me to log in. I'm going to do that. So this is the Amazon Seller Central. Okay. It's going to check the domains. Actually, this information, this was fed by Shopify. Shopify passed that along. If I wanted to, I could add another uh, domain, maybe associated with my, my uh, Easy Genie store. I'm not going to do that. Privacy policy, I already have that up there on the website too. I could even make that more specific, like if I have the exact URL. Anyways, I'm just going to click Next. Okay. There's some terms you have to agree to, and you should agree to those. You should agree, you should review, and then if you're satisfied with the terms, you should agree with them. If you're not satisfied or you object to something, you say, I do not agree. I'm gonna click agree and continue. I've reviewed this before. So you have to share credentials with Shopify. So basically, for this to work, Amazon and Shopify, they have to play nice. You have to agree to transfer uh, some payment related credentials. This of course is on a very secure website. You can see that in the, uh, in the um, address bar there. So transfer credentials. And, and I have to say Shopify makes these types of integrations really easy. And let's see. Okay. It's already, it's already set there. So let's see if I go back to the website. Here's my, product page. Let's reload that page and see if the Amazon Pay icon shows up at the bottom. Yeah, here it is, right there, right next to the particular form. For more information on how to get the most out of your Shopify website, go to leanmedia.org. I have lots of tips about this uh, and videos and whatnot. 
and maybe some of this information you won't find on other sources. So I think it's worth checking it out. And I also, I talk about other types of selling platforms too, including Amazon Seller Central, Amazon KDP, even WordPress. I even do that too. So uh, go to leanmedia.org. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.